In today's video, we're going to be talking about six style mistakes that all guys should avoid. Some of the mistakes in this list I've made in the past, and I don't want you guys to make the same mistakes because they can make you look way less stylish. So you want to make sure you avoid these at all costs. Before we get into it, if you guys like fashion and sneaker content, make sure you hit that subscribe button down below. Now let's go ahead and get into it. First style mistake that I've made and a bunch of others do as well is following every trend. Everyone wants to fit in and not stand out from the crowd too much. With all these fashion influencers from TikTok, Instagram, YouTube, it can be hard not to wear what everyone else is wearing. Now, at the end of the day, there's nothing wrong with it as long as you know what works best for you and your body type. For example, the baggy trend is in. Now, obviously, it looks great on certain people. Now, pants specifically. Baggy pants look great on taller men. Now for me, I'm on the short side, sadly, so that trend really wouldn't work too well for me. For me myself, I know the baggy trend is in, but if I were to take part in the baggy pants, I would just end up looking shorter. So I know what works best for me, so I go with more of a slim or tapered pant. Now don't get me wrong, definitely try out the new trends, but if something doesn't look great on you, don't feel pressure to wear it just because it's trending. Next fashion mistake we have is people having too much quantity over quality. Basically having too many okay pieces that you don't love in your closet because it's cheap rather than having a couple pieces that are maybe a little bit more expensive but you'll have in your closet for a much longer time. Fast fashion may seem like a good idea. Those will be stores like H&M, Forever 21 and Sheen. While fast fashion may seem like a good idea at the time because it's cheap, I'm telling you right now, those clothes will not last you a very long time. I would say at most they would last you about three months before you either shrink them or they just get ruined because the quality isn't too good. But spending a little bit more money on clothes you actually love that are made with quality materials is always the best way to go. For one, your closet won't be as cluttered. Two, you'll love every piece you have in your closet. And three, getting ready will be so much easier. So remember, pick quality items based on what you love and what fits your personal style. It's way better than following the latest trend that will be over in about a couple months. Third mistake I see, you know, more younger guys making is being way too flashy. You know, being head to toe, covered in brands. Being head to toe in brands really isn't in style right now. You'll see some guys dressed head to toe in logos. It just comes off as tacky. Also, buying branded clothes could sometimes be a waste of money. You think you might look great in a Gucci shirt, but in reality, simple outfits come off so much better and cleaner. And also, let's not forget much more affordable. As much as you might think someone might care about your cool designer piece, you gotta remember, not everyone is into fashion. So buying a designer shirt really is a waste of money if you're trying to impress people. So what it comes down to is buying a designer shirt if you're just trying to impress people is always gonna be a bad move. So to them, the logo means nothing. They don't know how expensive that item was. So you're better off just not buying it if you're trying to impress people. Now, if you actually enjoy designer brands and quality, then by all means, go for it. But I want you guys to remember, 99% of the time, the way the clothes actually fit your body is way more important. Fourth style mistake that a lot of guys do is they don't accessorize. Now, men are not as confident as women when it comes to wearing jewelry. Sadly, a lot of guys are told only women wear jewelry, or sometimes guys just have no experience when it comes to jewelry, so they don't know where to start. But I'm telling you guys, having accessories with your outfits will make them so much better. Sometimes all an outfit is missing is a necklace, rings, bracelet, or a watch. Now the great thing about jewelry now is that it's super affordable. The good thing about that is you don't have to waste a ton of money if you don't end up liking it. If I was just starting off with jewelry, I would definitely check out Amazon. They have so many to choose from for an affordable price. And after that, you can figure out what you like and what you don't like and start investing your money into some staple pieces that you'll have for the rest of your life. Now guys, never let anyone put you down for trying to experiment with jewelry. I promise you, you will be so much more stylish than they will ever be. Fifth style mistake that a lot of guys make is not considering your proportions. Proportions are probably one of the biggest and most important principle when it comes to an outfit. Now the reason it's so important is because it can affect the way we look in clothing. For example, if you're a short guy, 
know your short and you know to stay away from super oversized and baggy clothing you want to stay away from those type of clothes because it can make you look even shorter now if you're on the taller side you don't want to stay away from tight fitting clothing because it can make you look even taller. So at the end of the day, it all comes down to knowing your body and knowing what will look best on you, no matter what's trending at the time. You always gotta do what's best for you and your body type. Six style mistake that so many guys make is caring what other people think. There was a time when I would second guess my outfits because I was scared of what people would think of me. Now, thankfully, I've gotten over that and it's so freeing. If you have clothing items that excite you, you should always go for it. When you start dressing well, you're gonna get a lot of criticism. That's because people are scared to wear what they really wanna wear, so they wanna take it out on you because you're actually wearing what you wanna wear. So instead, they play it safe and wear what everyone else is wearing and try not to stand too far from the crowd. But you, you're a trendsetter, you're a fashionable guy, that's just something people aren't used to. So keep experimenting with different outfits and different styles because at the end of the day, it builds confidence and you'll end up way more stylish. If you guys enjoyed this one, please go ahead and subscribe to the channel, like the video, turn on that post notification bell. I appreciate all you guys for watching if you stuck around to the end. Hope these six tips were helpful. If you guys wanna see more of these type of videos, let me know in the comment section below and I will see you in the next one. Peace. <laughs>